the fight of the week, your Saturday night cavalcade of sports feature. Welcome to the fight of the week. I'm Don Dunphy, your ringside commentator. Tonight's 10-round middleweight bout of Madison Square Garden features Reuben Hurricane Carter, knockout sensation of Patterson, New Jersey, against veteran ringman Holly Mims of Washington, D.C. Mims is a last-minute substitute for Gomi O'Brennan, who showed up with a bad cold this morning and was excused by the commission. The 25-year-old Carter sprang into national prominence on October 27th when he knocked out Florentino Fernandez in 69 seconds of the first round. It was his 13th victory in 15 fights, 11 of which haven't, have been by the knockout route. Carter has dropped two decisions. The 33-year-old Mims has been fighting professionally since 1948 and has never been stopped. In fact, he's never been on the canvas. He has fought 86 times, winning 59, losing 21, and fighting six draws. He has scored 12 knockouts, and he has won 11 of his last 12 bouts. Mims is 5 feet 7, while Carter is an inch taller. At the New York State Athletic Commission weigh-in, Carter was 155 and a quarter, with Mims 160 and three quarters. In just a moment, we'll bring you the 10-round middleweight fight between Reuben Hurricane Carter and Holly Mims. Now let's get up to center ring and Johnny Addy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like you to meet two great champions, the current welterweight champion of the world, Emil Griffith. Emil Griffith, come on up. Emil Griffith, and the former welterweight and middleweight champion, Carmen Basilio. Come on up. Where is he? Carmen Basilio. Over here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Carmen Basilio. officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. The judges, Tony Rossi, Tony Castellano. The timekeeper is George Bannon. Counting for the knockdown, Zach Clayton. Referee for the main event, Joe Loscalzo. Ten rounds from Washington, D.C., wearing black trunks. He weighs 160 and three quarter pounds. Holly Mims, Mims. His opponent from Patterson, New Jersey, wearing white trunks. He weighs 155 and a quarter. Reuben Hurricane Carter. Carter. Main event, 10 rounds. Another bout to follow. Mims, Carter. You have really received your instructions at, at, at way in time. Are there any questions at this time? Okay, go back to your respective corners. Come out fighting, get the sound of the bell. Good luck to both of you. Shut the Scoring here in New York is on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system if the rounds come out right. on an official's card. The mandatory eight count is in effect, as is the three knockdown rule in one round. They're wearing eight ounce gloves. Holly Mims in the black trunks taking the bout on short notice. Reuben Hurricane Carter in the white trunks. Carter's best punch is a left hook, but uh, it was a right hand that set up uh, Florentino Fernandez in October when Carter knocked him out in his first TV appearance. TV record for a knockout in one round in the first round is 47 seconds, held by Mike DeJohn over Charlie Powell in 1959. Carter is uh, aiming to get in there for a title shot. Mims, I told you, has been fighting since 1948 and has never been on the canvas. A real cutie. Ernie Buford, also a cutie, outpointed uh, Carter in his last loss, but uh, was knocked out by Carter in a return bout. He's got Mims in trouble. 
Sims battling Gamely back. On behalf of Mims, there isn't a uh, trick in the book that he doesn't know. And he's had difficulty getting people to fight him for that reason. probably have the best punch in the division. Aaron Mims Connor, referee Joe Lascalzo got them apart. seconds to go in round one. There's the bell. Coming up to round two at Madison Square Garden, Holly Mims in the black trunks, Ruben Hurricane Carter in the white. <laughs> the benefit of those who join us while the fight is in progress, we'll repeat every so often that Mims is a substitute for Gomi O'Brennan, who came down with a cold this morning. And up to now, has given a pretty good account of himself for a fellow who took about on such short notice. Mims tells me that he's always in the gymnasium. He had a fight three weeks ago. left hook, Mims is. With about two minutes left in this round. was in Carter's corner. Carmine Tedeschi is a 
trainer, Freddie uh, Tommy Parks, is right in front of him. Freddie Brown is uh, scrubbing him off from the right-hand side, and now Tedeschi is leaning in from the left-hand side. Carter was born in Clifton, New Jersey, May 6, 1937. On the other side of the ring, we've got the veteran Holly Mims. Facing him is his uh, trainer, George Johnson, Johnny Sulo from the left-hand side, wiping off the face and the body, and that's Tommy Mara, the third man in the corner. Holly Mims was born in Washington, D.C., February 10th, 1929. We're coming up now to round three of this interesting middleweight bout at Madison Square Garden. Mims in the black trunks substituting for Gomi O'Brennan and Reuben Hurricane Carter, the Patterson, New Jersey knockout sensation in the white trunks. One thing about Carter, he seems to be biding his time, which is a smart move for a youngster against a veteran. Like Mims, Carter isn't just rushing in there, but he nailed him a good one with the right hand. to round four at Madison Square Garden, scheduled for 10. <laughs> Reuben Hurricane Carter, of the White Trunks from Patterson, New Jersey. Holly Mims, substituting for Gomi O'Brennan from Washington. Mims from Washington in the Black Trunks. Joe Lascalzo, the referee. You watch Hurricane Carter. If you like smart boxing, watch Holly Mim. Now we've got both styles in here tonight. And good exponents of both. 
Adams, the black trunks. Mark Bossa. Carter, the white trunks. He's the puncher. They wrapped him. Mims trying to ride out the storm. About a minute and 40 seconds left in this round. has taken some good shots in the last 30 or 40 seconds. Anxious. Round four is almost over. There's the bell ending round four. We go back with Ruben Carter. Apparently, he's all right. He tapped uh, Holly Mims on the uh, shoulder as the round ended. Carter was on his way to having a big round there when Mims turned it around with that sudden flurry. Coming up to round five, Holly Mims, a surprising substitute in the black trunks. Ruben Hurricane Carter and White. exerting uh, tremendous pressure in this round on Mims with one minute to go in round five.
10 seconds to go in round five. Coming up to round six of Madison Square Garden, Holly Mims, the Black Trunks, substituting for Gomi O'Brennan on a few hours' notice. Brennan coming down with a cold. Reuben Carter in the White Trunks. Mims weighs 160 and three quarters, comes from Washington. Carter from Patterson, New Jersey, 155 and one quarter. And it's been a surprising bout so far. Very close. Mims uh, does a pretty good fending job with his elbows when he gets in close. to go in round six. <laughs> A spurt of blood from the nose of uh, Holly Mims. for 10 rounds.
Williams as Georgia Sessions over James Ellis, James uh, George Benton, and Gomi O'Brennan himself. And his divided bouts with Spider Webb. He's lost to Dick Tiger, to Joey Giardello, and Bobby Boyd. Well, he's been in with the best. Mims likes to stay along the ropes, either side, he doesn't care. Carter likes to dig out doors where he can punch away. Ten seconds to go in round seven. There's the bell. Coming up to round eight of Madison Square Garden, Holly Mims substituting for Domi O'Brennan in the black trunks. Ruben Hurricane Carter in the white trunks. Scheduled for 10 rounds. This is round eight, and it's fairly close, we would say. Mims has scored the only knockdown, a flash knockdown in the fourth round. Carter has landed big punches at other times. Last picture of Ray Robinson in the audience. We didn't know Ray was here tonight. Round nine. Honor the white trunks, putting the pressure on Mims and the black. There's been one knockdown. Mims scored it in the fourth round. Last knockdown. Potter bouncing right up.
Bucks, I'm sure, would be happy to win on points. Square Garden, Reuben Hurricane Carter of Patterson, New Jersey, 155 and a quarter of the White Trunks. Holly Mims, M-I-M-S, from Washington, D.C., 160 and three quarters, in the black. Mims substituting for Gomeo Brennan. One knockdown in the bout, scored by Mims in the fourth round. Carter bouncing right up. Mims has never been down, let alone knocked out. Carter, one of the hardest punches, if not the very hardest, in the middleweight division. Two minutes remaining in the fight. auxiliary fight in the back and everybody's watching that one. It always happens. Carter and Mims both smiling, showing their respect for each other. 
They were worthy adversaries, no question about it. We'll have the decision in just a minute. The commissioners, Jack Duberstein and Frank Morris, uh, have just gone over the cards. They've given them to Johnny Addy, who is about to announce the decision. Referee Joe Lascalzo and Judge Tony Castellano both score it. 6-3, one even, Carter. The other uh, judge, Carter Tony is the winner. has it 7-3, to three, Carter. Winner by unanimous decision, Reuben Hurricane Carter. A unanimous decision pass. for Hurricane Carter, who now has won 14 of his 16 bouts and has scored 11, but he was not able to continue his knockout streak against Holly Mims as Reuben uh, Carter with his manager Carmine Tedes Tedeschi and his trainer Tommy Parks. A lot of credit, though, to Holly Mims, who came in here on a couple of hours' notice after Gomeo Brennan came down with a cold today and gave a very fine account of himself and had Carter on the floor in the fourth round.